Good morning everyone, Mike Heard 360 Thank you for tuning in to this little video. Uh, and also watching the YouTube channel, I'd appreciate it if you go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, what I wanted to do today is just a real quick video to show you just how simple building one of these battery boxes is using our Elite Kit, all right, our DIY Elite Kit. Now, some of the parts you're going to need, right? A, uh, a field box. It could be, I, I, I have many different uh, battery box configurations or battery box options. Um, this is our economy. The one we sell is the economy kit. Uses the Plano uh, field box. Got a, a waterproof gasket in the lid. Um, I have these for sale on the website as a DIY kit. Individually box and I will soon have the elite economy available. I just haven't put it on yet. All right, some other things you'll need are Elite Wiring Kit, okay, and this, right now it's only available in the 4.0 by 1.7, that fits your wise eyes, your Tacticam cameras, uh, Creative XP, your Barn Owl cameras, uh, they all use that 4.0, and then uh, here's the wiring harness for the box, two amp fuse in there to keep the wires from, if there was a short somewhere between here in the uh, in the camera it would keep the wire from burning up all the way to this point your fuse would blow uh, all right and then uh, the battery this is amped outdoors uh, it's physically the same size as a 12 volt 9 amp hour seal at acid but it's 15 amp hours and a lipo 4 lithium uh, the beauty of these batteries guys is the built-in BMS system from, from Amped Outdoors, uh, it protects this battery from over-discharge. Uh, in case you don't know, a Tacticam camera will pull a seal lit acid battery down to about 7 volts before it shuts off. So you damage and possibly destroy your seal lit acid battery at that point. So let's, one more. You're going to need a drill. You're going to need a, uh, for this kit, you're going to need an 18, I believe it's 18 millimeter uh, socket or wrench and then I buy these or I bought this at, at Harbor Freight it's a step bit very very handy drills a nice round hole this one has 5 8 on it I've marked that 5 8 with a, a silver sharpie marker so I know which step it's on and uh, alright let's go ahead and get to building I think I've listed everything I'm not going to get too critical with measuring or any of that stuff. You can put this harness, you can put it anywhere on the box, uh, on the sides. I'm going to put mine back here behind the lid. I'm going to drop it down a little bit so it's not where, when the lid opens, it, it puts pressure on that cable. Uh, and I'm just going to eyeball it to put it right in the middle. All right, you want to you don't want to go too fast. Once you get close to that five eight mark, all right, nice, perfectly round hole. I love step bits for drilling holes like that. All right, and let's see if it'll fit. That second little, it's a little tight, but I think I'm gonna like that. All right, guys, there's an O-ring on here. This O-ring fits in this groove. Now, that O-ring goes on the inside of your box. Your nut goes on the outside. You've got a two-piece threaded part here. This part is for your cable. All right, so let's see how that fits in there. It's a little bit, a little bit more. take too much you want that o-ring to be able to seal up there really nice now you could probably take the time I'll take just a little bit off there you could probably take a reamer tool still just a little more Better not to take enough than to take too much all at once. You can't put it back once you take it off. Still a little more. 
Guess I'm gonna have to go all the way in five eighths. All right, there we went, went in. Now you'll see, you can see that, that O-ring fits there nice. All right. Really what you want, if you could get the right size step bit, you would want to drill a 15.1 millimeter diameter hole. Five eighths is the closest thing that I could find into what's available. All right. And it, you see there's really no gap around it. You could take the time, I guess, and, and drill it just shy of five eighths and then thread it through. All right, got it snug with my hand. And I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna snug it with this socket. And I'm holding the inside. You may have to grab a pair of pliers and hold the inside, but I'm holding it with my fingers. You just, you don't wanna go too tight. You don't wanna crush that O-ring. You can see it's, all right. And there you have it, guys. All right. Drop your battery in here. Obviously, this will hold a little bit larger battery. You can put a, a the Amped Outdoors has got a 20 amp hour that'll fit snug down in there, or you can go with a Seal It Acid 12 volt, 12 amp hour. All right, and then clip these on, and you can put you some foam in there, or whatever you want to do to. Tighten that battery up. Put these alligator clips on. Close her up. Just happen to have a doesn't have a SIM card in it or an SD card in it, but it'd be all right. And then put your dust cover on. Keep the dust out of there when you're transporting it and and you know something else you could do uh just thought about because animals do like to chew on stuff like this you could take that off when you're using it and drop it in the box and then when you're transporting or not going to be using it you could take it back out of the box and it would still be in good shape all right add that on there Could have got a little bit more snug with that. <laughs> Tighten it down. She, again, you, you don't want this stuff to be just wrenched down tight. All right, now you got the cable on. That's our chew proof cable. I don't know if you can see it. Plug her in. Turn her on. All right. Very simple. Thanks for watching, guys. Mike Heard 360. Hope you all have a good day. Have a, a blessed season. And we'll catch you later.